As I have introduced myself countless times to you all, and I will countless more, I'm Mrs. Watson. I'm the music teacher here at Eagle Point Elementary. Welcome. We're going to start off our performances with some Hmong dancers, the Starlights. And you're going to get a small explanation before they begin. I will request that we keep this area as clear as we can. They are utilizing the entire space up here. Well, good evening, parents, students, and teachers. My name is Celie. I am one of the parents. And tonight, uh, I want to say thank you to Ms. Stacy Linnell for inviting Starlights to come and perform for all of you tonight. Uh, Starlight come from Downland Dance School. And we have uh, 16 girls in our dance team. A few are not able to make it tonight, so we'll do the best we can to uh, perform for you all. And when the girls are very excited. So first thing I want to say thank you to my Starlight parents. They do travel from all over the metro, from Maple Grove, uh, Brooklyn Park Center, to all the way from Minneapolis, right in Oakdale here, and Cottage Grove and Woodbury. So uh, the girls tr do travel far away, quite far, to come and join you all tonight. So before I start, if you girls, boys and girls, you really want to watch them, it'll be really amazing, but you gotta show them super quiet. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, the first song the Starlight will be performing tonight, it's called The Enchanted Peacock. Peacock dances originated from all the way from China in a little province called the Yunnan Providence. It's in the southeast, uh, southwest of China. Peacock dance is a traditional folk dance popular in Yuna province and Bangladesh, western northern part of Cambodia. The dance they will be performing tonight, it's about a peacock, a beautiful peacock, dancing across the meadow. She came across a fountain and decided she wanted to take a bath. As she was taking a bath, the droplets of water running down her beautiful feathers as she slowly spreading her wings to flight. To her amazement, she noticed other peacocks were nearby and she reached her, she arched her way toward the peacocks. Now the graceful, the group of peacocks are joyfully display the beauties to each other. As you watch the dance tonight, watch for the girls fingers that will represent the peacock's hand, the whole body movement, the gracefulness movement, imitate the peacocks, and the peacock dance is representing honesty, peace, and beauty. So, welcome Starlights, you may come out.
That is a welcome song from Ghana, which is in West Africa. Funga Lafia, it means welcome to you. And Ashe Ashe, the way I looked it up was the most beautiful meaning of with my entire soul, with everything that we are. So our students welcome you, and we're very grateful to have you at Eagle Point tonight for our culture fair. At this time, we're gonna have one of our fourth grade students, Advika, come and give a demonstration of a martial art that she's been studying. Guys, let her through. You got your paper? All right, I need to plug in my phone. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please give Advika your attention, she would be happy to introduce you to her martial art. Tamil is a Dravidian language predominantly spoken by Tamil people in Tamil Nadu, Sri Lanka, Singapore, and Malaysia, with Tamil diaspora populations spread across the world. There are 90 million native speakers. Tamil is one of the longest surviving classical languages with archaeological evidences tracing back 2,500 years. Silambam is a 6,000-year-old staff-based martial art form that acted as a base for current-day art forms such as Kung Fu and Karate. This art form is performed along with unique music, music from percussion called, a percussion instrument called Udikai. Silambam can be practiced for kamba or purely for demonstration. I'm going to do the f um, type for demonstration. No, I have to start. I'm just start. Okay. Now I'm going to do um, something called a Guru Anakam where we respect the ground and the teachers and the audience. a backward spin, and munsutu, a forward spin, and pinsutu, sitting down. Now I'm going to do um, Pinsutu and Munsutu walking, and then I'm going to do both, both, both spins on both sides.
Now I'm going to do um, a advanced of pinsate, and I'm going to do a one arm one armed um, spin. Let's give one more big round of applause for Advika. Thank you very much. At this time, we, we had a slight change of plans, so we're going to be switching some things up because the dancers are about to come out for another go. Are you going to be saying anything this time? Do you want me to talk about the second song? If you want to. That's up to you. Okay. So there's a squeal now, sorry. Okay, we're ready to go. All right, I know you guys are waiting for Starlight to come out again. The next song that we will be performing for you, uh, parents and students and staff, the title of the song is called Salawan. I'll get started, I know you guys are anxious to see the girls coming out, so. All right. So, Salawan is a traditional Thai, Thai Dam dance. It's in the uh, south regions of Thailand. Also a very popular song for La in Laos. Salawan is used for entertainment, or it could also be used for a folk dance. The costume that the girls are performing tonight, are they performing as a traditional folk dance? And then before I um, allow the girls to come out, I just say that uh, Eagle Point here has you I have now shown. We want to thank her. She's also one of our dancers, but she's also one of your students at uh, Eagle Point over here. So we're very proud that she's inviting us. All right. So I hope that you will enjoy them. All right. Thank you very much. Welcome, Starlight.
I do want to make sure that our fifth grade drummers get introduced. They have been working on different rhythm, different drumming techniques and rhythm patterns in our music class, but these students spend extra time every morning instead of actually getting ready for their school day working with me to develop this to share with you. We have Stella Wright, Kellen Mayer, Taylor Hoffman, Andy Tan, Megan Blood, and Kian Rush. Not in that order. <laughs> We hope that you enjoy what they've been working on. for joining us for the 2017 Eagle Point Culture Fair. It has been fabulous with you here. I think we're actually a little, I can't tell, it's telling me my steps, not the time. I think we're a little bit over the time, so thank you for that extra. Uh, a special thanks to all of our parents and families that are here because that shows so much support for your students. It's wonderful to see, and it's great to get to know so many of you and your foods, which are fabulous. I also want to thank the teachers and staff that organized all of this. Yeah, big round of applause. They've been working really hard to make sure you guys enjoyed your time. Uh, just as a final parting, there is a Navajo prayer. I don't think any of my fourth graders are brave enough to come up here and sing it with me. Fourth grade. <laughs> a third grader is though, and he doesn't know it. So I'm gonna sing a Navajo song of peace. the end. Thank you again. If anyone is willing, we would always appreciate any help with chairs, as always.